Hey everybody. How many of you have speed champions and you wish you had something to put them on? This is something I've been looking at for a while. It is a uh, Lego speed champions, I think it's called Scuderia. Um, 75913 semi truck and you can put six stud speed champion inside it and then haul it around and it's clamshell like this and I always wanted that and I thought I could modify it to have see-through sides to so you can see which cars are inside it but that thing sells for over a hundred dollars used so I don't think the values there and I like trying to get my piece count down uh, like 10 cents or less per piece that would be my sweet spot and some of the discontinued sets you can't do that so I decided to build this and pull my hair out along the way and so take take a look at this video and you can see what my build process is like when I try to think of something and build it I combined two sets the 2021 Speed City Transporter and the 2020 Audi uh, 8 stud Speed Champions to build this and I used a mock to change the Audi into a semi truck and that mock can be found at Rebrickable. And the modifications I made along the way are in this video okay now I'm gonna show you the quickest simplest way to modify the trailer to get more cars on it could because the speed champions cars are a little bit bigger than the city cars that the trailer was designed for these are the pieces that you'll need it is provided in the Audi kit and the car carrier kit so you already have those So you already have those pieces. So you want to take off this front piece, the corner, the other corner. Take the kit that was or piece that was from the Audi kit, and then put this underneath it. That was from the Audi kit, and that was from the Audi kit. And then put that underneath the trailer like that. And then you'll want to come over to what's left of the semi. We're trying to get to this light green 1x4 under here. There we go. Legos are no good for your fingers. Alright, we got those. We're going to put that there. That there. The little green four underneath it another green four underneath that one so it should look like this and the colors match because you're using the semi one by four on the trailer and then you'll put that piece there and this other corner piece here and then you'll use these other corner wedges tiles left from the Audi kit there and then you can rearrange the wheel stoppers in any configuration that you want but now you can get 1x6 or sorry 6 stud speed champion cars on here and you can change the front of this as you see fit to get different cars on here because the McLaren's pretty long we have all of these extra pieces in this box and then we have all of these extra pieces over here so you can modify it any way you see fit 
Okay, so I showed you the basic idea on how to extend the top of the trailer. I took it one step further and I put the headlights that used to be on the front of this onto here and then I took these little gray pieces along with some triangular orange pieces for right here. And I think it really set the model off a little bit more. I'll show you what I did. Instead of having the triangle pieces and the little triangle wedges right here, I took them off and I put on a little 2x2 two two tile and then another long tile here. And all of these pieces came uh, from the, the Audi and the uh, trailer kit. And still the same underneath, you can see where I added the headlights here and then my little triangular uh, markers. So that's it. The, the only thing I had to modify was the front of this. And putting the tile pieces made it a little bit stronger than these little corner wedges and these triangle pieces. And then I moved these so that way the McLaren could fit. And now it is just about halfway. McLaren ends right there. You can actually get two McLarens on here now. So I'm going to build my other uh, six stud speed champions and put them on here. I'm thinking I'm going to put the Porsche down here, maybe the Camaro up here. Alright, so I just got done building the mock from the Audi kit. As you can see, I did not put the stickers on because I always leave the stickers off if I think I'm going to build mocks because I don't want the mock to have all these crazy stickers. It's a semi truck. It's not a Audi rally car anymore. So it was 85 steps and only a couple of pieces per step. Somebody designed this and they put it on rebrickable.com. They built the car and then they wrote the instructions. Uh, the instructions were $3.50 and I chose, I wanted to pick either the um, Audi 8 stud speed champions or the GTR 8 stud speed champions because I wanted the biggest vehicle I could get under the trailer because um, the city semi that went under the trailer was just way too small to use with six stud speed champions so you can tell that the uh, semi is now quite a bit larger than the six stud so I think it's gonna look a lot better under there um, you can tell the semi is a lot wider and a lot taller it's probably going to be the close, the biggest semi that I can get under the trailer. It's going to be the closest to scale size for the six studs. All right. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to take off these pieces. We'll put them on when we're done. I don't. I'll probably knock them off anyways. I have large hands. So I'm going to take this off. triangles, the double uh, tiles, the little sides. I'm going to put this back on. Oh, I forgot to take that off. There we go. Now I'm going to put this back on. These are going to go on the trailer for structural supports. We'll put these little oneers on here from the uh, Audi. And then these little corner wedges just to kind of spiff it up a little bit. 
Everybody likes a spiffy truck, right? And then these little one by two tiles. Now oh, I forgot to take off the little four stud. Oh, my fingers. Maybe this will help me. There we go. All right, we don't need that. Now I'm gonna put my little, my fancy wheel arches on here. My tiles back on. So you're seeing this in real time. It can be a little frustrating building Legos sometimes, especially on camera. And this is why I need that piece that I couldn't get off. That is going to go on the bottom of here, which I already showed you. This is the hitch from the trailer. You're going to want it to go further towards the back. If you want to make it even spiffier, you can put these on here. And I was thinking about taking the... Uh, the broom, let me find it here. I was thinking about trying to find a way to mount the tools and stuff back here. But I have so many extra pieces here. There's just a lot of ways you can get creative. I'm going to put these mock pieces back on. I do think it would look a little better with the stickers that went here but I'm not gonna put them on I'm still not gonna put them on now I got a nice yellow truck bed that was this side yep. so the semis got very nice colors and then these are just all the pieces that I didn't need I have so many pieces left from these two sets Ready to go together. Alright, I'm going to show you how to modify the hitch to put on the new truck. I've got this old semi stripped naked. It's wearing its birthday suit. So, let's get this done. Alright, that's what it looks like without the wheels. You're just going to pop this off. Get rid of the yellow, hold the bottom where the seam is, and flip. Instead of being in the back, you're going to move it around to the front. And then you're going to take one of the extra parts between the two kits that we're not using and put it right there. And then if you look, you can see how uh, the hitch is closer to this edge than this edge. You're going to want that part to the back. So that way it'll uh, make the trailer attach further that way. So it'll give you room to turn it. And then we'll just put that to the side. And I finally have a six stud Speed Champions car hauler to display my cars on. At least my favorite ones. Whew. Yeah. Um, the car doesn't fit in there. Wow. Okay, I guess I have a few more modifications to do. I'm going to have to make this longer. Uh, thankfully, the ramp 
it just pivots on this. So all I have to do is extend the back part of this probably about flush with this because as of right now the ramp folds shut to about here and the uh, Porsche is actually longer longer than I thought it would be. It's pretty much the same size as the McLaren and it, for some reason in my brain I thought it was just going to be a little bit shorter and it would fit in there no problem. But that's fine. Uh, something tells me that these are longer than my brain thinks they are. So all I gotta do is extend the ramp out a little bit and thankfully there was a ton of extra parts left to finish this off. I had pieces from the original car hauler. I never even built the orange car that the car hauler came with because it was so small I knew it would belong in a city. So we got all these parts and then all of these parts from the Audi, the loose parts from the Audi and the car hauler. I'm ready to be done with this project. Whew, I thought this was going to be simple. Alright, let's get this ramp built. I want to be done with this. Okay, I have a simple solution to extend the length of the ramp. So just start by taking it off. Keep this the way it is. Take the lights off. And then put the lights on the end. This is going to be your height. The ramp is going to come flush across the lights. Take your ramp stops because before the ramp, before the ramp would close, and that that was your ramp stop right there. So we're going to move it to here so it sits under the lights, and your stops are going to be right there. Alright, now that that's good to go, take two of these, and put a 246 under it, and then put that under here. Now you can take the ramp, and put it back on. It only uh, is longer now by two studs and it folds flush under the light and it's sturdy. As sturdy as the original at least even. And then take two of these spare parts and put them in there just to clean it up a little bit. And there you go. Now it shuts like it should, it stops, it's strong so it won't collapse on itself. All good to go. Porsche fits. Perfect. So now I have a six stud speed champions car holder you can see the mclaren you could fit two mclarens on here all right now that we got the trailer done I'd like to go back and add some brake lights, seeing how we relocated the ones from here up to here. This is the original semi, or what's left of it. I took the brake lights from here, and I'm going to put them on here. Make that look good right there. Maybe I'll do them vertical.
Eh, that looks fine. So here she is, the finished product. I'm laughing at myself. I thought this was going to be so easy. Just go get a mock for a semi, make a mount, and put the cars on here. It ended up being pretty challenging. That happens to me a lot when I'm building with Legos. I'm happy that I saved over a hundred dollars by doing this myself and I used the Audi which a lot of people already have for the semi and all I had to do was spend three dollars and fifty cents on a mock and I bought this which was thirty bucks and new for 2021 I think it turned out pretty well though so if you'd like to try the same thing as, as me, hopefully my video will have enough information for you to try it as well. And enough instruction to, um, you can modify it any way you want. Just remember to have fun building. Even though I got frustrated and it took longer than I thought, I still enjoyed building it. Just like the normal one like the original truck so if you like this build make sure you like share comment subscribe and ring the bell